One of the great things about WA is our melting pot of cultures. So many of us are first or second generation immigrants, myself included, but it's probably our location on the doorstep of Asia that's had the biggest influence, particularly when it comes to our culinary scene. I've joined up with Wandering Wok Tours, which has been discovering the delights of Asian food in Perth for over 15 years. And it's probably no surprise it's centred around the heart of Northbridge, our unofficial Chinatown. And Pauline Lynch knows these streets inside out. Tell us about <laughs> Wandering Wok Tours. Well, I actually started off these tours, Katie, in 2001, because I wanted to, people to know about this fabulous area of Northbridge, which is just full of Asian products. So here we are, Katie, at Wing Hong Butchers, which is uh, one of the original butchers down at Northbridge. And they have a great variety of meat, things for Western palate as well as Asian palate. We can get anything here from chicken feet to duck's tongues. And there's some pork goodies. We have yeah, pork, pork, pork goodies. Yeah, yeah, goodies. <laughs> uh, pork trotter, so we have pig's tails, pig's ears, which are actually Brunch. quite on trend at the moment. Maybe I'll, I'll stick to exotic fruit and veg, maybe. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay. Stay up. <laughs> You've brought me to a fruit and veg stall, but what's so special about this one? So you can get particularly exotic Asian vegetables in particular at this shop. You know, things like here, one? it's a bitter melon. So right. this is actually fantastic for digestion. Okay. You peel this and you can boil it up in a soup. Another one here, which is real, looks really unusual, probably a bit yeah, ugly. <laughs> it's a lotus root and a great for salads, great for stir fries. Amazing, so again, yeah. So something a little bit different. What on earth is that? Oh, this is a real surprise, actually. You can eat it or if you wanted to dry it out, you can dry it out and give yourself a little bit of rub down. It's a loofah vegetable. No. Yes, it is. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Yeah. So that's what's great about coming into some of these shops. This shop in particular, you can find all those different kind of fruit and veg. Okay. I'm so happy to show you into the shop Atlantic Seafood. And I'd like to introduce you to Tim, who's actually going to talk about something quite exclusive to this shop. Uh, we actually have live uh, abalone from Perth local <gasps> beaches. So this is actually only available in about two or three oh, stores oh, yes. in Perth. Okay. So what's the best way to eat these, Tim? There's quite a few ways. Um, I think the best way is to actually eat them raw, sashimi. Ah, nice. So yeah, 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 I take yeah. them out of the shell, mm -hmm. cut them into thin slices, mm -hmm. And mm. then I uh, dip them into soy sauce and wasabi. Yep. It's beautiful. Ooh. Excellent. Amazing. That's the Love best way to eat it, yeah? This is actually all caught by uh, commercial fishermen. They have a quota and they can catch until they hit that quota. Right. Um, but we've only actually just started doing this product. Um, it's yeah. been too hard to actually, to actually execute having live abalone in a shop. It's been too hard. But thanks to their, um, their ability to reproduce um, the Perth uh, reef in a tank, we can now have uh, live abalone every day. Fantastic. That's great. The Chinese yeah, in Northridge come and yeah. buy this. It's just, this is, a, this is a huge product. This sells out guaranteed every week. Well, I knew this whole strip was full of Asian grocers, but Pauline has just opened my eyes to an amazing new side of our city. If you want any more details, head to the website and check them out. For me, all this talk about food has just made me hungry, so what better way to finish the day than with some beautiful roast duck? Don't mind if I do.